In this video, I'll show you the third and last way of grade calculations, and it's going to be concerned about dot format when grade is given. I'm going to show you one metric and one inch based calculation. When grade is given as 8 over 250, and you see something like that in a corner of a blueprint, or 3 out of a foot, or, or 3 out of 12, because 1 foot is just 12 inches, and it's important that this one is inches and that one is feet. Or, I guess it's simpler if it's just 3 out of 12, or 3 to 12, and this is 8 out of 250. And again, these are dimensionless figures to indicate grade. This could be 8 millimeters out of 250 millimeters, traditional uh, looking at things, and 3 inches out of 12 inches, but it could be uh, 3 feet out of 12 feet, or 3 miles out of 12 miles, depending on what you're building. And uh, the quantities in this calculation will be drop, run, and this grade, and just the refresher, drain pipes, need to slope, typically, and preferably, and when they slope, they drop a certain amount that you can just measure with a tape measure if you hold a beam level here on a corner of it or anywhere it doesn't have to have a corner and just measure how much it drops over a certain run so that would be the idea there and water is gushing out so let's do a grade calculation when grade is given drop is given and we're calculating run let's start with metric this time for example we might have like here an 8 over 250 but yeah, let's go with an 8 over 250 8 over 250 grade, and it's important that in a ratio and fraction calculation, you write up the drop in the numerator and the run in the denominator. And uh, we have a, let me see, so grade is given, that's, that's the grade. Where do I write it? Okay, so grade equals. 8 over 250 and we have a drop say I don't know 52 millimeters and we want to know the run the run is to be calculated that's gonna be X in this one so because the drop has to be the numerator I'm gonna write the drop here and the run goes here and this is pretty calculable as is, but just to keep your arithmetic, your number crunching the same consistently, I'm going to go and flip this. Where this flip comes from and how it works, you can watch it, really, the theory background on uh, another one of my titles, writing up ratio and proportion. So I'm just going to flip it, because this is not really a fraction, 8 over 250, although they look like equivalent fractions, but these are four independent amounts that can move around a little bit, but not any which way. It is, there is a certain pattern to it. And in that video, writing up ratio and proportion, you can see four ways that they work and four ways that they absolutely don't work. And from here on, standard cross-multiplication procedure, multiply that number with that number, that's a multiplication. How do I do this? And then divide by that number. Uh, you can divide first and multiply after. It doesn't, it's, it's not a problem. It doesn't change anything. It's going to be the same result. I like multiplying first. 250 times, I'll put it here, times the 52. And then let's divide it by 8 because the calculator can do it all. 1625. One, six, two, five. Now, because that amount was in millimeters, that amount will also be in millimeters. The run of the pipe is 1,625 millimeters. And if you need to convert it to metric or anything, like meters, that would be 1.625 meters. That's how this version works. I'll show you how it works in inches. Very similar. Same idea we have grade okay that's an ugly g all right grade grade given as say uh, 
one, one in twelve, something like that, and we have a drop given. Uh, I don't know, three and a half inches, and we need to make out of it a run. Needs to be determined. That's the unknown x. Again, work with the grade numbers. Drop first, run after. The drop goes in here, and you really need to be fast with converting mixed numbers to des mixed uh, mixed numbers. Yes, uh, inches and fractions of an inch to decimal inches. So this is just three and a half, like 3.5, like so. I chose a easy number. So, but uh, to do this conversion, you have to watch another title: converting inches to decimal inches. So I'm gonna go. Drop goes in here, 3.5. Over run is the x amount. Again, to keep the math the same, I'm going to flip it. 12 over 1 is the same as 3 over, not 3 and a half. Uh oh, that's a boo boo. Now, what do I do? I'm going to make it an x. Now it's ugly, but do bear with me. Over 3 and a half because I flipped it. Sorry about that, little messy, little messy. So now, again, we cross multiply that amount with that amount, let's multiply, and then divide by one. Because it's a division by one, and it's gonna be not changing anything, it's the same, the result is gonna be the same as just multiplying those two numbers together. It's gonna be just 3.5 times 12 equals 42 inches. Pronto. The run is 42 inches. Now sometimes you get a decimal number, so let's pretend we got 42.3 inches, okay, just just go with that because if we had a different run or a different grade Eventually sometimes you get like 42.3 inches. What do you do with 42.3 inches? You need to make a fraction out of it and a fraction and feet and everything so the point three part you times it by 16 and that's 4.8 Well 4.8 is the numerator of a fraction, so I'm gonna round it to 5 because that's the closest, that's going to be 5 sixteenths. Okay, if you need to refresh your memory on converting fractions to decimals, now that's a new topic, okay, convert fraction to decimal or decimal to fraction, just find it, it's in the, uh, somewhere in the arithmetics um, playlist. So that's 5 sixteenths and the 42 inches, uh, 42 inches, how many, let me see, 42 inches has how many feet in it? I don't know, divide by 12, that says three and a half, 42 inches has three and a half feet in it. So I'm just gonna write three feet, and that half foot is just gonna be six inches, but, so that's three foot, six inches, and 15 sixteenths is the run of the pipe. If we have a slope, a grade, of one to 12, and a drop of three and a half inches, then, the run of the pipe is, it was 42 inches, so that's that. But if you happen to have 42.3 inches as a result for some other calculation, not that one, then that's how you convert from decimal inches. You can make feet, inches, and fractions of an inch. If you have, uh, say, instead of 42 inches, just the last one, okay? How about 43 inches? 43.3 inches. Again, that 0.3, same as before, becomes 5 over 16th of an inch. And the 43, this is what you can do with the 43. So 43 divided by 12, you get some numbers, like 3 point, that's a 3.555, just, just write down the 3, that's gonna be your feet. And what you do is, 3 times 12 is 36 inches. 36 inches is accounted for, and you have 43. So you just subtract 43 from it. Uh, it's going to be negative 7. Don't worry about it. What it is, is you have 3 feet and 7 inches. It's a negative 7 because I subtracted the 43 from the 36. The, the, the 3 feet at the 36 inches. So I should have done the other way. 43 minus 36 and then it's plus 7, but I uh, think you get the idea now. So, that would be it.